Okay, so in this video, what I really want to do is talk about the plan of what we're going to do. We are going to, let me just get my sequence right. We are going to look at what needs to go in the list node, right? Now you can use this plan, this video, as a way of stopping watching the videos and the material and attempt to code it if you feel confident. We're going to also discuss uh, delegation in list nodes and the concept and how that expands the power of it. We're going to then move to the list class and we're going to ask the question of what nodes um, we need inside the list class. And uh, we're going to have an append method or an add method. And this append method is going to allow us to add new nodes to the list. Um, and then once we've done all that, we're going to then cr attempt to create a bubble sort. Um, and in the process, we're going to discuss how you would swap and the concept of using address references, how that works. And that's also going to evoke concepts. If I just bring it back onto the actual screen so you can see it, there's going to evoke concepts of recursion. And then very finally, um, we are going to look at a binary search. Now, this stuff here should demonstrate to you very typical processes that you would have with a list. Um, from your point of view, from at the heart of what we need to do is build this and append it and be able to navigate it quite critically. Because after a list, we're going to move to um, um, a map of some kind in following weeks, subsequent weeks. Doing the bubble sort, swap and recursion and binary search um, are ways of testing and um, building your skill base up, your code base.